Next up is to go raft the Snake River through Grand Teton National Park. There are only a couple of companies that are allowed to bring their raft through Grand Teton and Triangle X is one of them. And then outside in Jackson, there are a lot of other companies that will do whitewater raft trips. The one we went on was a scenic float and it was actually paired with a dinner. And so how it worked is they picked us up kind of by Dornans, which is a pretty central part of the, I guess, central southern part of the park. And they drove us up about 10 miles and they fed us dinner. We had ribs, steak, and I had a veggie burger. There was salad, rolls, a cookie, um, you know, a little bit of country music going on. So a little bit of a chuck wagon feel. And then we got to float 10 miles down the Snake River. And something that was so special about this trip was we saw a lot of wildlife, including several bald eagles and several beaver which made it really fun. The raft sizes were smaller. There were 12 passengers on the raft. It's very sturdy. Got a few little drops of water on me, but not anything too crazy. Very safe to take young children on. The Grand Tetons are so beautiful. It's prairie next to jagged mountain peaks. And to be able to be on the water with that cool breeze, a little cooler on the water anyway, and to be able to have an hour and a half to view those mountains as you float down is a really special way to experience Grand Teton. And if you are interested in rafting in Grand Teton, which I feel like if you want to say you've done Teton properly, you got to get on the river at some point. We have an article all about river rafting, whether you want to do whitewater or an in the park scenic quote.